Gotta unbig my back somehow. Didn't know coyotes even existed here. What fire was finna pop up that you have to extinguish type? So I rolled out of bed so I can get a couple things. I ran out of tortillas because I'm doing the 11 bread feast week. So I'm off this week. Oh my god! I bought two cans of tomato soup. Well, canned tomatoes so I can make my tomato bisque. Two bags of chips and two packages of tortillas. For twenty dollars, like what the, what in the actual shit? This economy is so. It's just like, I was born in the wrong generation. I missed the chance to actually buy a house. I missed the chance to have a, a wealth. I missed the chance. It's like, now society makes me feel that. But I also need to understand that the world right now is not set up for God's people. Cardinal me is very much over it. It's just like, what are we doing at this point? You know? I'm going back home. And because at this point, chips are, you know, I was going through a withdrawal period. And apparently my body needs them again because ain't no way that I should be that stressed out. My body pretty much collapsing. Because I don't have a chip in my mouth. Like, um, I'm really over that. And plus, battling everything that I do. It's just like... And mind you, like, I feel... But at the same time, I feel at peace. Just due to the fact that I'm not working. I'm not at a place that's locking me down for eight hours two good more years possibly of being locked down in a physical area but other than that I need to work from home if I need to work I need to work from home let's go home <laughs> just being able to sleep when I want during the day and not having to worry about anything except for feeding myself and just of course the normal hygiene being in bed almost for 48 hours i feel the need to go outside but it's still to the point where it's not warm enough for me to do outside activities which is annoying but i knew i needed to take off when i took off because you're not supposed to be doing work during 11 bread so i'm not gonna do that except for cook the meals with the unleavened bread with it like of course there's stuff i need to do within this time frame but it's gonna be on like my terms and i could do it at any point of the day it's just like to me because i don't know if people if you're new here hi i have been working since age nine so I was practically a nurse from age 9 to 18, did the whole college thing, whoop de woo Then of course adult life, being having to work, work study in college. So that way I could support my mom and family at home so I was still dirt broke <laughs> during that time. It's not like I'm exhausted because of the job that I have. It's really basically just me not wanting to be locked down at one place anymore it's me knowing that i have been working for so long already when i should have been just being a kid this rest means more to me than people know and breaks like this mean more to me i even debated about picking up the camera just talking about it because i will be resting for a few more days and then it's supposed to be warming up exponentially over the weekend so i hope to here's the goal now but i just never know because with more hosh posh areas i have no clue what 
new areas i have no clue what's going on i want to go to a rooftop situation and go to a outlet mall so that way i can you know just shop around i want to get a perfume when it comes to things like i like like perfume hair products that sort of thing so i have to outsource a lot of things and i don't mind that but at the same time i miss my people okay I'm exhausted just by talking. <laughs> and that's fine. It's okay to be on vacation and want to rest. Perfectly fine. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And on top of that, I needed to learn because this is the first vacation, week-long vacation that I've had for me instead of like an emergency in two years. I'm just rambling at this point. I will see you guys when there's more stuff going on. Couple days later, I picked up some items from Walmart. I need to do a small grocery shop because I ran out of meat. But do I feel like doing that today? Because it's like, it is a beautiful day outside as far as sunny, but the warmth still isn't there. It's supposed to be marvelous this weekend. I really hope that my energy level returns because when I popped out of bed this morning to pick up the stuff that I had to today, I still just don't want responsibilities. Like, <laughs> I don't want to do anything that acquires, acquires, oh well, yeah, acquires and requires my attention. I just, I don't feel like doing it. If I was able to, which I, I don't know how, but God's will be done, but I literally want to take an extended period off one year five year many years off i want to retire early and just be on my own whim because the short breaks that you get in between vacations or whatever may have you it's really hard to get your sense back into work and even though i still have several days left i don't want to think about it my purpose in life and to not have a set schedule where I'm locked down eight hours a day because truthfully whatever field I am in and whatever work I am in I have never worked eight hours straight now mind you I've had 24 hour shifts but when it comes to labor intensive on the clock on the dot you're doing things repeatedly for eight hours no were the jobs stressful with the 24-hour shifts? Yeah. However, it was more like an anxiety-ridden type of thing, like not knowing what fire was finna pop up that you have to extinguish type shit. As of now, I don't feel comfortable going outside at night because I didn't even know this area had this animal, but apparently there was a coyote on property. There were gunshots the other day. It's just like, okay, now mind you, grew up in an area where gunshots were very frequently popped off. Nothing new, right? I haven't heard of gunshots in a very long time. Was it due to the coyote? You know what I mean? I don't know. We got an email talking about we need to look big and bad or we need to yell at it and go rawr. Like what? Whatever. Last thing. Hair. Okay. I recommend this to anybody for deep conditioning. Hair mayonnaise deep conditioner. Okay. It's right there. It is so good because I don't know if it's because of the egg protein that's in it, 
I'm not going to front with you. I'm not going to keep it being with you. When it says as directed, the max 10 minutes before you wash it out like you need to wash it out after 10 minutes. And it only lasts a year because I don't know if, if you guys know this, but if you can see that lid looking thing right there. It shows you how much time you have upon opening the product to use it. This says 12 months. Now, mind you, some products I'm kind of wary of that it may have a longer shelf life, I guess, than what it's directed. But when it comes to this product in particular, don't use it after a year because the way this stuff works, to me, it feels sometimes depending on how i guess itchy my scalp is it does a thing where it feels like almost like a relaxer and it smells like a relaxer too but i don't want to deter anybody from using this product because it actually does what it does it is a deep conditioner it leaves my curls very soft and it almost feels like it detangles my hair in the shower and so forth and it takes me a while to detangle sometimes so i would recommend this product if you're trying to revert your hair um probably once every two weeks give or take and if you know your hair needs moisture maybe once a week and then when you get used to it and so forth possibly once a month i still to make the product last you know because it even though it's a good size jar and the price is excellent for what it is it doesn't last that long <laughs> because for me, from root to tip, it takes so much more. Our hair is so expensive to maintain. Products are on constant rotation because of that. So I need to use like at least three or four gops of this to coat my entire head. And yeah, I, I wish I could do it every week. <laughs> <laughs> but that means I would be buying jars every two, three weeks. And I don't feel like doing that. So, yeah. And I feel like this hat is just, it keeps sliding down and whatever. I forgot where I got this. I got this years ago. Um... I want to say it was one of the stores. It was either TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Burlington. I am done rambling. You know, talking y'all ear off. I just knew it was a nice day. Now, we're going to get to the fun stuff in a couple days. I promise you we are. I hope it doesn't rain like it says it's supposed to. And when it's hot, like, I just need to bust out one of my dresses and just be outside and, so, like, grilling or eating or having a drink or something. I need the vibes. I think I deserve the vibes with all the stress that I have been under and just releasing some of that during this week, being off. So... I'll see you in a couple of days. <laughs> it is 12.30 on a Friday and I'm seeing children outside. Don't they go to school? Don't kids go to school anymore? I'm mad confused. I don't even think life real anymore for real. <clears throat> but I'm gonna go take this walk. I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. I'm just at a park, so we gonna see. Come along with me.
Looks real medieval, right? Looks very abandoned, right? And it is. It's crazy how people that build homes like this and like the family just dies out and no one to keep up the property so they make it historical landmarks and all that and the flies is out apparently today one thing about the warm weather bugs are a nuisance over it see mm -mm. let me get out of this pocket and back in the sun because apparently they like the shade so come on this was the trail I was referring to. I'm not gonna walk the whole thing though. It's time to get active again, even if it's for a short while. Like whose idea was this? But I'd rather do it now than later. Hello? All types of wrestlings. Is that chip on? For scale, this is already what I've walked already and the decline and then the loop around right there gotta unbig my back somehow just watch it for people too because it's like it's weird because this week off I've seen a lot of children I've just seen a lot of people in general it's just like where where y'all what are y'all doing? But like I was saying, if I don't get it in now, then it's gonna be really too hot to do things. And given that I haven't eaten yet, I can't work out and eat after or before. I can't work out and eat beforehand because my stomach will tighten up and that's not a fun time. So, oh, it's a little wet up here, a little wet. Okay. After this leg, I'm going to just descend back down because to me, I'd rather do things little by little than try and overexert myself. <laughs> so what's your name, sir? My name is Ted. Okay. Do you want the given name or that's the given name? Do you want the surname or is the Love given name? Love Ted. Uh, okay. The backdrop, beautiful too. So And that's a true Ted. Not a true Ted. Yeah. Gotcha. From the Tedias. Wonderful. And is that your wife? Yes, that's okay. Autumn. Autumn. I love that name. Very nice. Oh, she's picking stuff again. Yeah, she chose it herself. <laughs> what she got there, Autumn? Okay. Smell. Leave very much the same, but smell is not. It's not pungent enough? Yeah, smell is not. Hmm. 
we're making tea early spring and mm -hmm. also we're making salad those ones that they prevent the blood uh, stream going up and you know those things mm -hmm. so how can you tell which one to pick but this one is not the the leaf is very much but it's not okay. smell is different so that's a tea leaf no this nothing no no oh okay no. Gotcha. Yeah, this one we 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 eat this one okay but you guys read but we eat this one so only this time of the year once hmm. a year interesting they market they selling but this one really really funny it looks very much like that that's why i pick it up and yeah still so, nothing no 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 smell uh not this one no, no. hmm be careful a lot of a lot of stuff in uh, this area mm -hmm. only this time once a year but, interesting yeah so this sometimes just naturally not, has been yeah, here. Yeah, sometimes it uh, looks very similar, it's, but it's not. Okay. Yeah, this one's is a weed. We eat this one. I don't know what you, what you, your name, but uh, you guys, you guys call weed. Uh huh. Hmm, I didn't know that stuff grew that you could consume up here. That's interesting. When we came to they, visit in this part of the country, uh -huh. the market. Back in, was they it sell it. Okay. Was it 1999. Uh huh. When we and at the, the around the railroad tracks at shaker square uh -huh. she sound i don't know the english name korean name is sook so okay it's just growing uh, everywhere and i thought i'd have to tie it mogot mogot or walmart or whatever mogot mogot yeah mm. anyway. i was a shock <laughs> look at the flowers the white flowers so uh -huh. beautiful very I wonder, pretty i i i gotta know the, the name over there the white one yeah mm -hmm. Well, Ted and Autumn, it was lovely meeting you. Are you guys going to descend that way then? No, I'm going to go up all the way. Okay, you're just still I'm taking right. a break? Yeah, take a break and then go up. Okay, sounds nice good. You. you too, take Enjoy care. Day. Will do. Thank you. Before I asked if Ted could be on camera, I don't know what type of bug that was, but before I asked them, if he wanted to be on camera because they were talking a lot to me and of course the question on if my hair is real and so on because they saw me with the camera and they asked me if I was a youtuber or whatnot I said yes just starting out so then we started talking about this land and so forth and how the owner and whatnot just it's funny how you can be extremely wealthy one moment and then lose it all the next that sort of thing and then you saw the interaction that I had with them they're a cute little couple apparently they um been here since the 2000s since being in Korea pretty sure he was probably in a war of some sort I uh, met her because even in my family that has happened before so, whew, I just decided to just to do half of the trail because that was a little bit too much. And then another thing I'm going to get used to as well, it's just people staring, asking, because the curls are already going to be a conversation piece. <laughs> Happens, and that's why I concealed them for so long, but... My hair needs a break, it needs to be let loose, and that's what I'm gonna be doing for this summer. Isn't that a beautiful sight? And that is just like the, <clears throat> the gatehouse, where if you were gonna enter the property, you needed to go through there first, and then all the way back there was supposed to be the house and whatnot. I just think that's interesting. I don't know who besides the city or whatever it may be privately owned I'm not sure but whatever the case may have you this is a beautiful property so I'm gonna continue this walk probably do one more loop around and then call my exercise for the day completed I will see you guys in the next fun clip.
Excuse you, Miss Ma'am. Excuse you, Miss Ma'am. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, all right. There we go. Comfy now. So that's what you've been asking? Yeah. I knew. I knew. And this is how you know we a food family. And you know that's how we be chefing it up. My niece said I love my mom because she cooked for me. Yeah. Because we a cooking family in this thing. Yeah. We are, well, I'm the author of the family and now my niece is starting to write stories. I'm so proud. I was craving a burger so dang on bad. So my brother took me to this place called Midnight Owl. That is just a bourbon and Coke. And I got a regular, just America style flat burger and fries. Banging. Then went to a baseball game. It was really fun. Nice. We're a baseball family, so we really enjoy the sport overall. We were all around today. Mind you, I don't do a lot of days where I go to multiple areas in one sitting, but usually when I'm with my loved ones, I really enjoy doing that. So I had a grand old time. So we are on the way to the next destination. Smells like baccarat in a good time. <laughs> Told you, get your full time, get your fondue. <laughs> All the time. Oh, this is beautiful. Ooh, that time. <laughs> So we are back in the crib -o. it's about 10 30 ish um as you guys know i don't really like filming at night just because again i got no red lights in this new apartment we do so it's cool in selected places but whatever it may have that's not what i turn the camera on for when i tell you the rh rooftop brand right several branches across the nation right i honestly i didn't know if i wanted to buy a futon get flambe or get a fruity sangria because it's a furniture store call it a gallery where you can buy furniture at a winery little situation and a rooftop restaurant i am mad confused right so I'm thinking because I looked up online and everything of the sort thought it looked pretty cool. So since I was with my brother today, figured we'd try it out. Um, 
it felt like a fancy cafeteria. Now, mind you, I already knew the chances of getting a spot because it's A, new, B, with reservations and so forth. I just had an inkling that you probably should have put one in. I didn't want to. So I was like, are there any other outdoor areas that are open? So they have this little patio place and that's where you saw the panoramic of that area. Fancy cafeteria. And me and my brother, <laughs> when we looked at the drink menu, we were like, that's it. I don't get it when it comes to more hosh posh areas, places of establishments where they think a limited menu increases the exclusivity. To me, they had only four pre-made cocktails. You couldn't make your own because they didn't have anything but those four. And I get it that you specialize certain things and you bring in mixologists or chefs or whatever may have you to create them. I get they're specially curated. However, it's just, it was a little bit too limited. So that was strike one. Strike two was the beer selection, the wine selection. It was just too much for, you can get it anywhere else for cheaper and more selection so i just ended up getting a chai tea and that's what you saw on the fire pit sort of thing and i'm sure it's beautiful at night i'm sure it's a vibe but i kept the music in there in the gallery part because i'll tell you eardrums now mind you i don't my little bass bass and my you know what i'm saying but you got talking people, so it's doing the humming of a cafeteria. You got the clanging of the dishes and so forth. It's like the kitchen part isn't even separated. And it's like, ugh. Like for it to be as of scale as they say it was and how close the kitchen was, that, no. To me, it's a one and done. Like I saw it, didn't really particularly like it. So... And mind you, I'm with the bouge. <laughs> I, I'm in there, okay? That's what I do. So, <laughs> it was just a no. And my brother, he, he had me cracking up all day, especially during that part. I was like, he was like, the lion's white, everything white. Because <laughs> we were expecting... You know, a little bit of diversity, none except for the workers, which pissed us off. But, you know, diversity and inclusion, we don't know none about that, even though we have degrees and we've worked in that field or whatever and we're trained in it. But anyway, we don't know nothing. <sighs> Tangent went off. No. Mm -mm. Now, mind you, I would recommend it possibly after things die down and if... The menu is there because low key, the Caesar salad, because I looked at menu online, the Caesar salad in it in itself, just the salad in the ranch was $7. But if you wanted to add chicken, it was $9. I'm sorry, what? It, I don't understand why it is so expensive outside. And the chai tea was $8. He said, you got some nerve buying $8. I was like, it's Starbucks prices pretty much. Leave me alone. Like, I wanted to catch the vibe, but it just wasn't a no from us. So, that was it for my Saturday. Hopefully, tomorrow it's kind of like the same weather rise. Um, I do want to go to an outlet mall, but it's kind of far away. And I did a lot today. I don't know. We'll see. Clearly if the <laughs> vlog continues then I'm back outside. Or I'm chit-chatting. Or something may have you. So I'm going to call it a night now. And I will see you in the next clip. You're going to catch me in a bonnet, too. It is what it is. You Usually, you know what? Hey, 
this is a real rare occurrence you're not gonna catch me in a bonnet ever okay but i don't feel like unleashing the girls right now so matter of fact y'all y'all gonna no i'm not gonna do that to myself why would i do that to myself I tell you, this is a process. It layers. Okay. Golly. All in the sake of good hair, right? Healthy, protected hair. Okay.